Hi everyone, it's Rachel and today I'll be showing you how to make this miniature fish pond using polymer clay and resin. So firstly take the colour of the pond, I'm using Grey Granite by Primo. Start off by rolling it into a ball and flattening it slightly onto your work surface. To shape it into a bowl, I used my fingers to hollow out the centre by pinching the edges and I just kept going round and around until I got the shape that I wanted. Then to neaten up the inside a little, I used a ball tool and ran it around in a circular motion. To make the lily pad, I took a dark mossy green colour of clay and flattened this into a little pancake. You can then take a blade and cut out a small triangle on one of the sides. To give it some texture, I used my needle tool and gently scraped this on the top. Then to give my lily pad a little bit of extra colour and depth, I took some chalk pastel shavings and brushed these on. For the little patch of grass slash reeds, I mixed two slightly different shades of green and split these up into small balls which I then rolled out to make each of the reeds. You can then go ahead and bunch them all together however you like and then trim off the very end that we don't need and this will also help it to stand up straight as well. Moving on to the fish, I'm using orange clay to make a goldfish. I rolled a small ball of this colour onto my work surface to create the body which kind of looks like a long thin teardrop. For the fin on top I flattened down a piece of the clay and then used my blade to trim off the shape that I wanted. I then attached this to the top of the body and then blended it on using a needle tool so that it was nice and secure. As you've probably also noticed I've put my fish on the tip of a blade so that it's easy to manoeuvre and I don't squish it with my fingers. It also doesn't matter in this case if there's a hole in the bottom of the fish because we won't see it at the end anyway. Next to make the tail I created a circle and then cut a triangle out of it with my blade. Remove the triangle so that you're left with the tail and you can fix up the shape if you need to before adding it to the fish. For the other fins I made two regular triangles and simply attached them to either side of the body. To make the eyes, I decided to use some black micro marbles because they were the perfect size for my fish, but two small balls of black clay would definitely work as well. I then curved my fish slightly before gently removing it from the blade, and now it's time to go ahead and bake all of these pieces in the oven according to uh, the instructions on your clay packaging. After the creations are out of the oven and completely cooled down, I'm taking some of my polymer clay sand to put in the bottom of the pond. I'll leave a link to that tutorial in the description or you could also use real sand if you like. For the water in my pond, I've decided to use UV resin for the purpose of this video because the curing time is quite quick or you can also use regular two-part epoxy resin. If you don't have any resin at all, you could also use Fimo Deco Gel and bake the entire pond in the oven. It just won't turn out quite as clear as the resin. I firstly put some of my resin onto a piece of baking paper and then put some of my sand into that. I used a toothpick to mix this all together and then scraped it into my pond. I'm doing the sand like this in its own separate resin layer rather than leaving it loose uh, to avoid it floating around in the resin when I place in my other elements. Thank you. 
I then use my tweezers to gently place in the patch of grass and also the fish. Then if you're using UV resin like me, cure this layer under a UV light or alternatively you can also place it in the sun. If you're using two part resin, you'll need to wait a few hours until it's tacky. Once it had hardened, I then poured in another layer of resin, leaving a few millimetres at the top and then I went to cure that layer as well. After that layer had hardened, I positioned my lily pad um, on the pond and then added a final thin layer. I also used a toothpick to help spread around the resin and then left it in the sun to cure for a final time. And then that is everything you need to do to make your very own miniature clay and resin pond. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you next time. Bye guys! If you make your very own pond or any other creation inspired by me, don't forget to post a photo on Instagram or Crafty Amino and use the hashtag RagyH96 so I can find your post and feature your creation at the end of a tutorial.